is up guys, I am here in a race against time to make it to my seat at Al Janoub Stadium in Qatar to see Australia take on Tunisia. I think it's gonna be fine, it should be alright. We'll see what happens on my journey. I'm gonna be doing a whole heap of vlogs throughout my trip here at the World Cup in Qatar. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you like down below, follow everything, because we're gonna be showing you everything that has Qatar has to offer. And most importantly, the football. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's see what happens. Holy shit, guys, the day is here. I'm about to go to Melbourne Airport to go to Qatar for the FIFA World Cup. It is so exciting. I've been wanting to do this for my entire life. This is something I've always wanted to do. Yeah, it's in Qatar and it's not like the most sexiest place to go see a World Cup, but this is gonna be a heap of fun. I've got six games on my plate. You'll be able to see them all right here. I'm gonna be vlogging everything. It's gonna be a lot of fun. If you wanna see anything in particular, let me know and I'll make sure to capture it. First things first though, here's my luggage. This this is where the more important stuff is, which is more my kits. I've got the Aussie training top. I've got an England top for when I go see the England games. I've got my Geelong stuff. I've got like an Aussie test cricket kit in here. One last thing before I head to the airport. I was doing my last little bits of packing and I need to bring my key to get back into the house when I come back in three weeks. And how cool is this? A little Jabalani keychain from way back in the South African World Cup, man. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. But guys, enough of that. It's time to freaking go. I'll see you at the airport. I'm at Melbourne Airport. Let's see if we make it all the way to Qatar in time to catch the Aussies take on Tunisia. All right, last update before I jump on my plane. Get me essential things started before I jump on the plane, which is obviously we're gonna jump in, get yourself a beer, get a little chippy, you know. The most important part about jumping on the plane is you need to get your snacks in order. Let me know what your ultimate job snacks are. Like. And tell me about Dr. Trump. First and foremost, get yourself a big bowl of water. You want to be thirsty, that's just what happens. You get thirsty on the plane. Second of all, this is a bit of a toss up. I like playing a little bit savory, and I like to have some of this one too. And the Pringles, which obviously, you know, controversial call because the Pringle cans, they seem to get smaller and smaller, and soon enough, you won't be able to fit a Pringle in there. And then I need a lot of because you know, you have to block these killer pythons on the menu. Early updates is like, it's 6.30 now, I'm <laughs> at 3 a.m. dude, I'm gonna be so fucking exhausted. And I'm already feeling kinda tired. That's a problem, they're playing all the games live on the plane. I don't know if I'm gonna get a winter sleep. We're locked in, we're loaded. Pringles, snakes, water, beer chippies. We're good to go, guitar, come with me. Oh yes, there's the bird right there, lovely. And what incredible. I have a detail. Little FIFA World Cup logo on the back makes it a little bit special when you're flying there. Let's go on the show. Let's go to Qatar. I'm coming for it. Here I am, I've just landed in Qatar for the World Cup and the vibe here is electric. There were like hundreds of people coming out off their planes with all different national team kits. You know, I saw Mexico, Argentina, Tunisia, USA, England, everything. So everyone's coming in, everyone, there's a good vibe. As you can see behind me, this whole place is decked out. This is, first of all, an insane airport. But secondly, they have 100% going around the World Cup. This is insane. When you arrive at 3 a.m. after a 14 hour flight, you're not really vibing, you're not really feeling like there's gonna be a vibe, you're not really in the mood, but I tell you what, I've got to pep my step. It's time, first of all, I'm gonna get changed because put some pants on, try and be respectful to the culture. But after that, I'm gonna mess around the airport for a bit because I gotta wait to uh, meet Ruben, my mate Ruben. I'm gonna meet him and then we're gonna catch up and then we're all gonna go together and see the Tunisia Australia game. Hopefully we can come strong. These Socceroos, I love these Socceroos, so hopefully they can come through and get us a couple of points. Three degrees, pants are on. A little linen number, uni clothes, so we're doing all right. It's not too bad, I'm looking comfortable. Exciting times ahead, man. Exciting times ahead. <laughs> Right, it helps to have connections in Qatar. We've got a couple of Heineken's with me. I thought there was no help on Qatar. I guess they were wrong. So I've got to see a couple of these of these boys having a little Aussie party here. It's unreal. We've got 10 or 12 coming here to celebrate, get amongst it, and then we're going to head down to Al Janoub and we will see you there. Looking good, Jose. Here we go. She bites. When they said 30 degrees, they meant 30 degrees. Calm dogs on fire. Your defense is petrified. Calm dogs on fire. Woo! If you can, I come out wide. There's Al Janoub. There's the noob. There is the noob. Na 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 I 
I lost battery on all my cameras, but I'm letting you know right now, this is the most insane football experience of my life. I'm so happy I went. This is incredible. Right. This is hands down the best experience of my life. This is the most insane game of anything I've been a part of. The World Cup is insane. This is insane. 20 more minutes, come on lads. They can do this. They can do this. 20 more minutes. 20 more. Come on, Australia. Come on, boys. Five minutes left. I love these freaking boys. If we can get this win, dude, I'm so nervous. Two minutes left. Two minutes get the Aussies win it. This is the greatest sporting event that I've, I've ever been a part of. Like, this is exceptional. Um, insane, one of the great times. This is worth every single penny that I spent to, just to get here. Yeah! If you want to be one of those guys after the French game and said we suck, uh, we got no future, suck. well then you're just a casual. Uh, best day of my life, hands down. Oh my God. I've been here for less than 24 hours and I've had the best sporting oh. experience of my life. <laughs> I'm going to show you a bunch of videos of me celebrating later. I'm not going to talk anymore because Anything else I can't say no more. Oh my god. That oh is the god. best oh my god. sporting experience oh my of my god. life. Best sporting experience of my life. Holy we did it. Game over. We win. Oh. It's coming on. It's coming on. Let's see what the hell's happening to me. Let's see. It's absolute limbs. It's absolute limbs. It's absolute limbs.